So you heard about forex chart patterns, but there are so many forex chart patterns that uh, you can learn. So in today's video, I want to show you the top three forex chart patterns that every beginner should trade. These are the three forex chart patterns that uh, I would focus on if I'm new to trading and you know I do not have the capacity to study everything or you know you just want uh, the top three that works as well as uh, it's the easiest to implement. So that's the goal of today's video. Now, just a quick uh, you know, breakdown of what I'll be covering today. I'll show you the top three. The number one is actually the ascending and descending triangle. Then I'll go on to the force break. And the last one that I want to talk about is the tightening of our volatility. Okay, in each of these chart patterns, I've actually previously recorded uh, you know, details on the specific steps on how to trade all of this. Okay, so each of this has been recorded before. So this is more like a summary. So I will not break down uh, the full step-by-step uh, -step process of how to identify them, how to trade them. I'll just give a summary. But what I will do in this video is that I will leave a link at the top right so that uh, you can watch uh, the video. After you, you're done with this, you can watch uh, the relevant video to find out uh, how to trade each of these uh, Forex chart patterns. Now, if this is the first video that you are watching uh, in our channel, then uh, this is what I always say when it comes to chart patterns and indicators, okay? The first thing you want to know is that you never use chart patterns in isolation, okay? You do not just go out and see every single, for example, ascending triangle or head and shoulders pattern or, you know, um, anything, any chart patterns and just blindly buy or sell, okay? That's not how you do it. Trading is not so simple, okay? You need to perform a complete analysis okay such as identifying the trend the key levels if there's any news event that might affect your trade okay all this is actually covered in the free day training guide over here okay uh, let me just draw it for you all this is covered over here so um just it's covered over here okay in the free day training guide so just check the the description uh, for the link okay to download it just in case you do not know how to perform a complete analysis. But in today's video, uh, let's move on. Uh, I want to start off by sharing with you what is an ascending triangle. Ascending triangle, there are specific criteria. Okay, I'll just run it through with you quickly. So what you have is that uh, in the ascending triangle, you have a resistance level, okay, and price is coming up, and there's one touch, okay? It's very important that there are at least two, two touches, Okay, uh, again, this has all to be spelled out in the other video. I'll leave the link in the top right. Just check that out uh, if you do not know how to identify uh, ascending or descending triangle. After this uh, portion, I have a screenshot for you as well. So make sure, you, uh, so I'll just go through that and uh, you can just have a look at how it looks like on the chart. Okay, so this is the second touch and you know, it comes back up and then it goes back, comes down and then it breaks up. So basically, you have a, you have a form of a trend line. Uh, that you can draw okay uh, sorry about this let me just redraw it's, uh, it's a bit ugly okay let's say something like that okay and this is the resistance of course uh it, it doesn't have to be perfect and the main thing that you want to see is you want to see that there's a form of a trend line or a um, moving average that is building up, meaning that the lows are getting higher. So at first the low was here, and then after that the lows come in here, meaning that the buyers are willing to buy at higher price, and then the buyers are stepping in again and again. Okay, so this is ascending triangle. So of course uh, you buy uh, when price breaks out and uh, you just put your stop loss below the recent low. That, that is ascending triangle. The descending triangle is just the opposite. You have a downtrend, and then you have a, you know, two, you have a support over here. Okay. Let me just redraw it so that's clearer. So price is coming down, you have support. It touches once, it touches twice, and you know, it slowly bounces off and then it breaks. So it touches once, at least twice, okay? The min minimum touches that uh, the price has to hit the support will be two times. Again, I explained this in the other video, okay? Link is in the top right, just check it out. So uh, what happens is that uh, you, you do see that there is a uh, price is selling down so sellers are coming in here and then after that sellers are coming in here and sellers are coming here what they are doing is that they are essentially uh, trying to squeeze out the bears so this is how a, a descending triangle looks so let's go into the charts and let me just show it to you how it looks like uh, just uh, pictorially on the charts so you can see over here that this is ascending triangle 
Okay, this ascending, this is a descending. So you can see that the lows are here. After that, the lows comes here and then the lows comes here. So you can see that buyers are coming in, uh, stepping in to buy. Buyers are stepping in and buyers are stepping in. Okay, a, a quick tip is to just draw a trend line and then watch for the trend line to be respected. Just look for clues about whether this trend line is being respected. Okay, the same thing is true for the opposite. Uh, you have the uh, sellers coming in here, then you have the sellers coming in here, and then you have the sellers coming in here. Same thing, the trend line is being respected. So as a as a you know as a rule of thumb, you want to see that the trend line is being respected as the price attacks the uh, support or the resistance. Okay, of course in the ascending. Uh, triangle scenario is the resistance and in the descending triangle it's the support okay this is a very beginner friendly way to trade okay this is one of the best chart patterns that you can use okay in fact in one of our videos we say that uh, if there's a best singular uh, forex strategy it would be trading breakouts okay I, again i break out uh, i go into details as to why a breakout strategy is the best strategy for a new trader because from the psychological standpoint, it's easy, right? The moment you click the trade, uh, you see that you're in profits. So it's easier on your psychology, right? If you want a full details, uh, just go into our YouTube channel and type the best Forex strategy and you should find that video. Uh, that video, I break down uh, why you should be trading the breakouts, especially if you are new. Okay, so by the way, if you're new to our channel, right, really appreciate if you could just take three seconds of your time to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Okay, please like the video as well, right? We are on a mission to impact 100,000 traders and we are recording a new Forex video almost every single day. So uh, you do not want to miss any of our videos, right? All our videos, uh, we take a lot of time to prepare it and uh, these are lessons which we paid a lot of money to learn and we are making it all free for you. So just go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button, okay? Have you done that? Okay, thanks for doing that. Now let's move on. What is a false break? Okay, again, uh, we have other videos on this, but a false break is a very simple concept, meaning that uh, you, let's say you have a resistance, Okay, let's say you have a resistance and instead of price breaking up and uh, you know, going, uh, retesting it and go up, what it does, it, it just breaks down. So this is why it's known as a fake out because instead of breaking out and going out, uh, it, it breaks down. So a fake out or false break is uh, what it is. This is what it is. And of course, in the opposite case, it's the same. Let's say price has been, uh, you know, like that, has been ranging between this support and this resistance. And you expect price to break down when, you know, the support is broken. But instead of breaking down, price actually goes up. So this is a false break. It is a very powerful way to catch a low risk, uh, high reward trade. Okay, again, this has been covered in the other videos, but uh, here is just an example of how it looks like. So you can see uh, this is the uh, bullish example and this is the bearish example. So you can see that uh, this was support and this candle over here closed below the support but immediately it started rallying. So this is a bullish false break. And in this case, it's the same. Uh, you have resistance over here, R, okay, for resistance. And price breaks above this. This candle breaks above the uh, resistance. And after it breaks, it starts selling down immediately. Okay, so this is another very powerful concept. This is something that uh, as a beginner, you want to focus on. Because imagine if you entered somewhere here and you just put your stop loss here. Okay, your stop loss is very well defined because you, you know for sure where to put your stop loss uh, just after the uh, candle and uh, you could potentially make a lot of money if you even if you just target the recent low over here. So your, your risk would be something like this and uh, your reward will be here. So you can see that the risk to reward is very lucrative. So this is one of the uh, uh, chart patterns which I recommend that you focus on if you are new to trading. Okay. Now, the last one is what I call the tightening of volatility. So let me just show you how it looks like. Uh, to just draw it out for you first. So what you have is that you have an expansion, meaning that price is moving really fast. And uh, after that, it starts uh, consolidating in a tight range before it goes back up. So the opposite is also true. You have a price expansion down and then you, price starts consolidating in a tight range. Could be something like that. And then it starts breaking down. Now, there are two ways for you to visualize this. You can see it either by an inside bar or a Bollinger squeeze. So over here, I mentioned that what you see is either inside bar or a Bollinger squeeze. So on the left over here, you actually see an inside bar. Let me just write it. And here you see a Bollinger squeeze. 
So let me just run you through uh, each of them. Uh, just a brief one, but um, just another gentle reminder, all these are being provided uh, in the other videos. So I just want to do a summary of uh, all the best Forex chart patterns that you should be focusing on. So you can see inside bar, uh, price has been moving down and after that it starts uh, consolidating in a very tight range and then it breaks down. Okay, so remember earlier on I drew this, this pattern over here. So this is actually the inside bar. So you can see that uh, price has been really moving and then it starts consolidating before it expands. So basically the volatility tightens and after a tightening uh, of volatility, you expect price to extend. It, it, just think of it like a, you know, like a rubber band. You know, if you, you, you squeeze it really tight, you pull it really tight, it's going to explode or like a spring. Okay, a spring would be a better example. If you were to pressure it, put, apply pressure on it, you know, squeeze it tight. Like in this case, this is like a spring. What happens after that is a big movement down. So this is another uh, good uh, chart pattern that you want to focus on because if you are able to enter the trade over here, you can have a very tight stop loss and you can catch a very nice movement down. Okay, the inside bar is not very easy to uh, identify. Again, the, the video, other videos that I have talk about this concept. But if let's say you struggle with this, right, then the other solution is use the Bollinger squeeze. But right? what you want to do is you want to have the Bollinger band and you want to watch for the, the upper and lower band. You can see this line over here. This is the upper band and this is the lower band. So if you compare uh, the charts, look at this portion, you can see that the bands are quite wide. The, up, the distance between the upper and the lower band is quite wide, okay, you can see. But when it comes to, uh, let me just click, when it comes to this portion over here, you can see that the, the bands are tightening. The, 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 the distance from the upper band to the lower band is very tight. So this is what is known as a Bollinger squeeze. So normally after a Bollinger squeeze, you will see price take off because like I mentioned, it's like a spring. When price has been compressed, it needs to move. After it's been compressed, it needs to explode in one direction. So this is another powerful uh, chart pattern that you should focus on. Okay, again, if you cannot identify this because this takes a bit more experience, then uh, go with the Bollinger squeeze because this one you just put on an indicator and uh, you can kind of just look at the distance between the upper band and lower band and it's quite straightforward. Okay, so before I do a recap, I just want to go through the disclaimer one more time. It's very important that uh, when you are trading chart patterns, uh, you do not trade chart patterns in isolation. Okay, please do not use whatever I covered uh, in the wrong context. Never ever just use a chart pattern. You need to do a complete analysis. Do not start going on the charts and start finding every single ascending chart. Uh, triangle, a descending triangle, you know, every single force breakout and every single uh, inside bar or Bollinger band squeeze and start trading. Okay, that's not the way to do it. You need to do a full analysis. Okay, our three day trading guide already gives you a step by step guide, but a lot of our other Forex videos gives you a step by step guide. So if you need that, check that out. Okay, please do not uh, just blindly enter. Okay, that's very important because I do not want you to lose money. Personally, I've done that when I first started and I lost a lot of money. So I really do not want you to lose money. So please uh, take note of this. Okay, so as a recap in today's video, I shared with you the top three Forex chart patterns that uh, you should focus on. Uh, if you are a beginner, okay, it's a, these are beginner friendly. So the first one is a, your ascending or descending triangle. So ascending triangle is of course when you are trying to buy and descending triangle is when you're trying to sell. Basically, this is a breakout trade. Okay, let me just write it out breakout trade. Then I talk about the force break. So basically, uh, you have price, you know, ranging and uh, in instead of breaking up, once it breaks support, instead of breaking up and carry on uh, trending, it, it goes back down and it starts selling down instead. Okay, the opposite is also true. Uh, you have like that and support, instead of support breaking and uh, price dropping further, it goes back up. Okay, that's a false break. And lastly, I talk about the tightening of volatility, which can be visualized either by the Bollinger squeeze or the inside bar. Okay, stick to this one over here. Uh, if you do not yet know how to identify the inside bar or you struggle with uh, you know, just identifying it. Okay, as always, if you have any questions, we'd love to help you. Just leave a comment down in the comment section. Uh, our team will read the comments and do our best to address your concerns. If not, make sure you like the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you will not miss another video that we create. Okay, check out the other videos in the top right. I'll leave the link to all these uh, chart patterns and 
a step-by-step -step guide on how to trade it. Okay, if not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.